What are we cooking today, Joyce? We are making something that you might think is weird. <laughs> I'm making um, pig feet. The butcher cut it for me. I just scrape the skin, the I toes, a little piece in here, like a skin. Then you just peel it off. Pig feet with mushroom, uh, dry oyster, and peanut. Put some ginger to start the soup. Did I tell you that my father, when we were kids, he used to be, you guy bad, I'm gonna smash you like smash ginger. And then we were saying that you never even cook, you know how to smash ginger. Okay, I'm putting it on in the soup pot. And then on this side, whatever the blood and gooey stuff come out. Just like I'm blanching all the meat I blanched before I put it in the soup. Some chef would give it when it come out from the soup. I think this is cleaner and easier. I soaked the mushroom for like 3-4 hours already because this mushroom are really thick. The stem, some of them I snap it off, cannot snap off or cut it off. The end of the stem, it have like little chunky thing, I just cut it off. You know, but for making soup, I'm going to just throw the stem in it. I like mushroom, but I'm putting a lot of mushroom in it. Some of the mushroom big, I cut into half. I didn't fill the water higher because I'm going to pour this in it but slowly. You see that chunk coming out? Let it boil for like a couple more minutes. For the oyster, I soak it too. But I'm not putting the oyster in it yet. Does it come like that? You buy it by the pound? Yes, buy it by the pound. See like this. All the grease have come out. I'm going to turn it off. You shouldn't cook it for too long because all the flavor come out. But it's not going to clog your drain joints. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> now rinse it and put it in the pot. So you go to the butcher. They don't say pick feet. They say pick hand. I don't know why. Basically, you don't eat the toe part, it's the leg. It's the hand part. It depends on how you look at things. <laughs> okay, I'm going to transfer it next to it. See, there's a lot of meat. So will that fall off the bone? The yeah, toe? this is supposed to be good, good for you. Like okay, a bone? See, like Chinese people eat everything. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. I gave some soup to my uncle. He texted me and said, fantastic. <laughs> this guy is tricky. So sometimes I send him next thing to it. Give it to him. Uh, you know what? Too salty. You know what? That, that you know. But he said it's fantastic. I was like, wow. Let it cook and I'll put the oyster in. But this part conduct heat much better than most any part you buy. See, it's very low and still like boiling. I'm gonna also turn the uh, heat a little higher. When you put anything cold, you're gonna turn it loud so the sand doesn't get it. Yeah. Maybe cold is in cold. Yeah. You don't realize that you know you pick it up. Then when it comes back to a boil, I turn it lower. Then the peanut, I'll put it last. I'm going to put the peanut in here. The peanut, I soak it for like two hours. With the skin, the skin has a lot of flavor and nutrient. I should turn it a little higher too. I'm not going to put the water in it. Okay. Another half hour, that should be done. Pretty much like two hours. You should put salt in it before and cook it for a little longer because the salt go into the meat and stuff. I usually salt it lightly and then you can always add to it but you cannot take it out. Okay, let's turn it off and then play it. You can, you can smell it. Okay, let's get a piece out. Ah, perfect. Is it's it? cold. <laughs> <laughs> this is more for cold than meat. Piling it up to make the photo. I don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the photo. Exactly. <laughs> Need to fish some oyster out. See the oyster? A couple of them here. Can you overcook an oyster? They hydrate it. You cannot overcook it. But I didn't want it to be too soft. Let me put some soup in it and then we'll arrange it. Just well, let's arrange it first. <laughs> no, it looks good to me. I think that's it, right? Okay, picture time.